inner. Oh wait, I have Hello Fresh. I'm coming on in, and I'm gonna start cooking tonight's Hello Fresh. Wee! Hello, my coffee cakes, and welcome to another Cook with Me Hello Fresh. Today we're gonna be making a pork a pulled pork bowl. Now, unfortunately. Uh, HelloFresh accidentally sent me the wrong um, uh, cooking card. So what do we do in this sense? So if you go on your app where you order, uh, there is a section um, where you would go on. Once your order is delivered, um, it will say cook me or cook it or something like that. And then you click on that and then they will have, um, as you can see, um, you could get into the info cards so um, there is that and it'll tell you what you need at the bottom here um, so it's it things happen and uh, we're living in a crazy world right now so these things are possible so now we're gonna get into it um, it is a very cold day so I'm hoping for a very hot dish so let's see what shall we chop first let's go with the onion last because that that biatch makes me craw so we're gonna go with the pepper okay we're gonna go in there all right, unfortunately, it's a very, very snowy day. Um, as you can see, uh, winter is in full force. Uh, the last few years, it hasn't been like that. So, um, so yeah, we've been pretty fortunate, but you know, at some point, things are gonna have to go back to normal, and that's what happened. Okay, so now with the pepper, we are not going to chop it, we are going to slice it, because um, we will be cooking that with our um, pulled pork. Um, I am a fan of pulled pork. Uh, I've never made it from scratch. So um, this really isn't from scratch. It's already chopped up, but we're adding the, the rest of the work. Um, so that's pretty cool. And um, as I always tell y'all, we are not uh, sponsored by HelloFresh, but if uh, you would like to uh, check this out, um, I do have a coupon code down below where you could save $70 off your first order. And I'm also going to have a code down below. If you um, join Rakuten, uh, formerly known as Ebates, um, you um, can get $10 back on your Ebates uh, for signing up for HelloFresh. So you're going to get $70 off your first order and $10 back. So that's basically an $80 savings. So it is totally worth it at that rate. So there we go. So hopefully anyone else who is in the uh, path of this uh, wretched snowstorm is uh, warm. And you know what's really good at this time is um, if you can, you know, um, supporting small business is very big on the Miss Kelly channel. And um, something that would be really great is if you uh, have a local kid who is in need of work and you can um, hire them to shovel your driveway. Um, I did mine myself. I don't know my neighbors all that well, but um, if I cooked, I certainly would do that. So that's what I highly suggest. Let's help the kids out. You know, that's supporting a small business and a kid uh, just trying to earn a little cash to buy themselves a bike or a car or, you know, take their girlfriend out to dinner or something like that. You never know. Uh, so don't hesitate to help a kid out. Uh, my buddy, I love this guy so much, uh, Life with Ron, uh, said that I would be really great for doing uh, mukbang videos. So we're going to work on that. Um, I'm always open to suggestions. If you think there's something else oh, I could be doing on my channel, please don't ever hesitate to tell me. I'm always open to trying something new. Um, so what we're going to do with that is um, I do... Um, I'm now the owner of a uh, Long Island uh, Lidl group on Facebook. So if you're from Long Island and you like Lidl and you're a Lidl nerd, um, you can certainly join us on there. Um, I started that group yesterday and we're already up to 112 uh, members, which is pretty awesome. Um, so just, to, just double checking to see what we're going to do with the slime. I'm pretty sure we're just going to quarter it. Yes, we are. We are not zesting anything today. Uh, so that's awesome. <laughs> Um, so we're just going to quarter this line. OK, 
Okay, I will be right back. I just gotta check on the rice. Now I'm gonna chop up this uh, tomato. Um, just like the last uh, recipe with the um, rice, we are gonna be making, it's, this seems more along the lines of, not a salsa per se, it's more like a, um, oh, what do you call that? Ceviche type of thing, just without the shrimp. So, so we're gonna chop up this tomato. If you know Miss Kelly, I do not like tomatoes. So, but we're gonna go with it because that's what it's there for. Okay. Oh, that smell of that lime is delish. Okay, so our tomato is uh, all set. I do believe we are going to be removing the leaves oh, from the cilantro. That's not necessarily my favorite taste, but um, that's what we're going to be doing. It says that we are going to chop the cilantro. So we're not going to be removing the leaves. Okay, good to know. All right. All right, my coffee cakes. So in that case, we want to make sure every piece is very, very close together. Like this. But focus on the leaves more so than the stems because the leaves is where the smell, the flavor is. This will be for, like I said, the ceviche type uh, salsa that we'll be making. So. Um, I think just like, you know, a lot of things, this will be a uh, to taste in this scenario. Okay, that guy is taken care of. And now we're going to, um, we're gonna thinly slice the onion because we're going to saute the uh, pork with the uh, pepper and onion. Oh, mother, I know I'm gonna cry. Oh, oh boy, this is one thing I wish they would uh, process for us is chopped onions, but hey, we can't ask for everything. Okay. I could already feel my eyes ready to go. Okay, we're just gonna get the rest of these skins off. So we're going to thinly slice. So I'm just going to do, oops, cut it in half like so. And here we go, some onion ASMR. Since that's getting a little thick, I'm going to do that. Once it gets into the pan, we could just like break it up. Oops. I kind of wish it was chopped instead of thinly sliced. Oh, well, can't have everything, right? All right, guys, I'm going to finish this up. Okay, so um, we uh, drizzled our, um, our uh, oil in the pan. So now we're going to saute. Our, um, oops, I'm just going to break that one up there. I'm just going to break these up a little bit. The onion, the pan is hot, but the onions are not. So we're just going to do that. And then we're going to saute our peppers and onions. And there we go. We're going to um, take care of stuff. And... Uh, while we're here, I'm just going to tear up this pork a little bit. Okay, well, okay. All right, here. And you can have a little onion and pepper ASMR. Let's see what it is.
you know what would be cool is if they don't have to offer this with, um, um, that poop. Because the poop is there, it's a place like pork. Yeah, that would be a cool option. More veggie option. Which is going to be cool. But that's the thing with every place is, um, you, you can, um, you can put the mind on it. So you can see the chicks, um, you can customize. I think it's a few cents more. something you could make at home um, without the kit. Um, so if you follow this along, there really wasn't that much to it. I just didn't have any oil left. I just had um, this olive oil butter, which is fine. It'll do the job. Okay, so um, this is going to simmer and it's going to be a little bit more saucy in about one to two minutes. All right, I'm going to leave this here and I'm going to make our little ceviche sauce. Uh, like, uh, ceviche type of thing. So what we need is only half of the cilantro. Well, I might use a little less than that because I'm not like a huge fan. Okay, so then we're going to put the tomato. Okay, I know y'all love my Wonder Woman mug so much. And then we're just going to add half as a lime. Oops. I might have to get a, a juicer for these. That's a quarter. And then here's a half. All right, here we go. Okay. Now it does call for um, salt and pepper, but I'm going to use oh, a little sasa instead. It's got that salt and pepper with a little kitty kick there. Not spicy, just, you know, extra stuff. And then there's gonna be ASMR. All right, so that's been taken care of, and now we're gonna go um, finish the pork and we'll be right Oh, back. wow, look at that beautiful color. All right, so this looks about done, and we're going to plate it, and uh, we're going to move on to our muckety mukbang. So I'll see you in a few. Okay, my coffee cakes. This is the best part of the video, is the muckety bang. So we took the rice. It's all fluffy up, and we got the pork, 
and some of the uh, ceviche and they gave us some uh, Monterey Jack cheese and they gave us some sour cream. So we all know you guys get the first bite. So here you go. Yum, yum, yum. So who's ready? Let me see. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Every dish always outdoes itself. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Good night, nurse. I'm like, hello, nurse. Remember that from Animaniacs? Hello, nurse. Mmm. Mmm. Who wants another bite? Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Perfect. And this definitely warms you up after shoveling um, three or four times today. Oh my lord. Yes. Who wants their one last bite? Mmm, yum, yum. Want one more for the road? One for the money? One for the show? Who's ready? For one more for the road. Mm. 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 Food gasm time. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for stopping by. Of course, remember, kindness is free, so spread that. Not cootie, social distance, wear your mask. And uh, rest in peace to Dustin Diamond. That's truly sad. What a sad day for us um, 80s and 90s kids who uh, grew up. <laughs>